What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we have a Mega Pizza Sweep using only the move guillotine to attack. So I come up with a pretty fun strategy, and I really hope you guys enjoy this one. If you haven't been living under a Crustle's Rock lately, we're trying to get all the Mega Pokemon Sweeps done before Pokemon Sword and Shield comes out at the end of the year. We've been on a roll lately, like real top. Um, if you're new to your channel and you enjoy the vids, or you just happen to enjoy the channel, make sure you subscribe there and hit that uh, bell as well, and select all the notifications, because if you miss the salt, it's not my fault. Big shout out to all the YouTube members as well. Hope you're enjoying your early upload. If you want to get those uploads early, smack that join button. Let's get into it. So we got our Mega Pinsa and Pinsa stats up on the screen here. Looking at Pinsa's attack is very, very nice and its defense is pretty dang good too. And when it digivolves right, it gets even like a bigger attack, like over 500 at uh, level 100, which is crazy. And uh, its defense even gets high. And the main thing as well, it actually gets a speed boost. So its speed is pretty subpar before. And uh, with that speed boost, it's actually quite uh, speedy. Now, you'd never guess that, guys. A speed boost and very speedy. So looking at the ability Aerial Aid, right, we're going to be making use of Aerial Aids and the move Guillotine. So normally, what the arrow does, it turns his normal type moves into flying type moves. So Guillotine is, remember, is going to now be a flying type move. So it actually gets rid of those uh, ghost immunities, which is pretty cool. Now, today's battle strategy, I'll actually be doing a doubles battle. This battle could not be possible, um, you know, apart from any other. It couldn't be possible in singles. So the only way I could do this strategy was in doubles. So I really hope you enjoy. If you enjoy doubles battles and you want to see more of them, hit that like button, people. That tells me you want to see it more. So if you like it, smack that like button, leave some comments in the comment section and uh, if you've got a Pokemon strategy you want to see or you just you know want to leave an awesome comment about your awesome best YouTuber yeah feel free to leave it in the comment section let's get into this one people so we got a little bit of setup with this and uh, this was of course a doubles battle so we got a uh, mega Heracross I don't mind our uh, pink Heracross it actually doesn't look too bad and skill link it's like straight away their skill link is going to be a problem so we got a Clefable on the other side of the field this is going to you know be attracting all the attention with over here and it's going to be drawing all the attention away from my Smeagol which is going to do a little bit of setup so we're going to get a little bit of evasion and that's pretty much all I want to do but this is a little bit of a different strategy uh, to my other one so I actually thought about doing a level 1 like Mega Pinsa, but if you have like a level one Pokemon using one here, KO moves, it actually fails, right? And uh, you can actually, even now, I think I was thinking like, could I give the opponents like, you know, somehow I give them like no guard or something like that. Even if you give them like no guard, it's still going to like fail against them because the level is lower. So I thought I'd have to do a different kind of strategy. And I had a lot of like other Pokemon like key players in this team too. So something a little bit different and maybe some moves you don't actually see uh, all that often too. So we've got this uh, Ferrothorn, which is, uh, you know, hitting me pretty hard with the Gyro Ball. And we've got this uh, Sword Dance Mega Heracross. Now I've got the unaware abilities. That's not actually going to do anything to me at all. And I'm getting a couple more uh, minimized is off with my Spiegel. However, I'm not going to be using Baton Pass in this video at all. So we're going to get hit by the Rock Blast here. Rock Blast is going to hit me five times because obviously Mega Pizza has got the skill leak. I actually haven't done Mega Pizza Sweep yet. I have to do that. So anyway, I'm going to hit by a barrage of rocks. And uh, that's pretty much it, people. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll catch you then. Peace.
people. Hope you enjoyed this team. Let's get into the strategy of what was going on. So we started things off with the Clefable. Now, Clefable was actually basically there to take all the heat away and attention from the Smeagol, which was, uh, you know, silently setting up the Minimizers, and that was for a little bit of later on preparation. Then my plan was to use Healing Wish just to get Clefable off the field. Basically, that was his job, just to get all the attention for a couple of turns and follow me, and, uh, you know, Wish was for a little bit of recovery, and so was Citrus Berry. Also, had Unaware as well, in case they tried to, like, bust through me in one turn. Then, after I swapped in my Pinsa, the Smeagol actually used Heart Swap. Now, Heart Swap actually swapped all the stat changes around, so essentially, the Smeagol gave the Pinsa all those minimized uh, boosts there. Now, after that, pretty much, we had the Smeagol using the Lock-On, and then we had the Pinsa using Mimic, copying the uh, Lock-On from the Smeagol, and then Smeagol was basically useless then, and Pinsa went on its merry way. Now, we did have a couple of other things going on the battle. We had Substitute and Guillotine. Now, after using the move uh, Lock On, you could lock on the opponent, and the next move would always hit right, so that allowed me to get 100% Guillotine every single time. But the problem was, I had to keep using Lock On, and Lock On only, well, Mimic only has 5 PP right, so the last uh, the, the, the last one at the end right was complete luck that I hit that. So, that was the hard, probably the hardest and riskiest bit about this sweep. Now, we had Gothitelle actually healing me throughout the battle with Heal Pulse, to, and actually trapping the opponent in with Shadow Tag, because you probably noticed, oh, why aren't they swapping out for? They couldn't swap out. So that was the whole strategy. We had a Doug Trio there, and we also had a Gastro Acid Pokemon, Puku Muku, to get rid of those sturdies. That's pretty much it, people. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.